Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what up? So, as you guys can see by the title, today's video is going to be a huge Victoria's Secret body care haul with some little extras thrown in there. But before we even get started with everything that's in that bag, I just wanted to take the time to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all of the love, the comments, the shares, the likes, the video suggestions, you know, your thoughts and opinions on my community tab. Like, thank you guys so much for showing so much love on these fragrance videos that I've been doing. I really appreciate y'all and I'm glad that y'all have been liking the type of content that I've been putting out and I'm glad that y'all have been asking for more and sending me all of your video requests. So I appreciate y'all so much. All my old subscribers, y'all already know, we still rock in. I appreciate y'all just as much, but I really do appreciate you guys so much for watching all of my fragrance videos, hauls, recommendations, whatever it may be. I appreciate you guys so much much for taking the time to watch them so yeah that's all I wanted to say now we can get into this huge Victoria's Secret haul now you guys know this haul is a pretty big deal just because of the type of items that's included um, in the body care part of this video you guys know that Victoria's Secret brought back their 90s iconic scents the ones that people have been asking for and you guys they are literally my childhood in a bottle, like quite literally. I could not wait to get these items in the mail to smell them just so I could be taken back to when I was a child and when it was like super happy times in my life. So I was just so excited to get these items in the mail. So I'm gonna hurry up and get these other items out of the way first so we can dive right into the body care. So, I mean, first things first, I got a pair of slippers and these are the ones i got i actually got some christmas pajamas from like two years ago that's gonna match these shoes so i definitely wanted to pick these up while they were on sale i have literally you guys i have like 20 pair of victoria's secret pink slides i always pick up a pair like every year i really do enjoy their slippers i wear them all the time um, the next thing I picked up was this mug from Pink. Y'all don't know, but I am a heavy coffee drinker. I drink coffee literally every day. And I was like, another mug wouldn't hurt. So I got a red one just because it's about to be Christmas. And, you know, I just want to be real festive and with the themes. Um, and the last thing I got that's not body care, this is the Pink. What do they call this? Um, I don't know, but it's like a all-in-one bag or something like that but i just thought that this would be really cute it's a nice little tote and i feel like this would be like a really cute kind of toiletry bag it's see-through so when you take this little plastic out um you can see everything that's in it and i felt like this would be really nice even if i use it as a makeup bag this is really cute so i got that as well now we can jump into the important part of this video you guys oh my goodness oh my goodness okay so Let's start out with strawberries and champagne. So I picked up the body spray and I picked up the lotion, of course. And literally, you guys, my aunt, this was my aunt's signature fragrance. Like, Well, this was one of her signature fragrances. And I used to go to my aunt's house all the time. She used to babysit me every time my mom had somewhere to go or she had to work late or anything like that. I was always at my aunt's house. And my aunt used to collect Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret fragrances. She still has some of them to this day. Like, she still has them, okay? Um, but yeah, she used to wear them and collect them all the time. And strawberries and champagne was one of her signature scents i remember this was all i used to smell on her when i used to go to her house when she used to come to our house i used to spray it sometimes this takes me back oh my God. this just takes me back so strawberries and champagne is wild strawberry sparkling champagne forever bubbly the best way that i can describe this scent is it's a super bright fruity effervescent type of fragrance I don't know how they did it, but they literally bottled up champagne into the body spray and the lotion. It literally smells fizzy and alcoholic and boozy. It literally smells, 
it literally smells like a strawberry boozy champagne type of drink like that's the best way that i can describe it and i love it it smells exactly the same how i remember it smelling on my aunt how i remember it smelling in her room this is exact and i bought another backup because this is going to be my set that i'm actually going to use and then i bought a backup just to have it just in case they do away with these but i am so excited to have these you guys like seriously this is literally the 90s in a bottle for me so the very next fragrance which was also her signature scent is pear glace glace it has like a little um symbol over the e so i don't know if it's glace or what but anywho this was also her one of her signature fragrances it smells exactly the same as well so this one is sugared pear dewy melon ooh la la and i actually feel like this is the scent that i went with her to the store to pick up and i remember her telling me to smell it and i smelled it and i thought it smelled amazing so exactly what it says it definitely smells really sugary and like fresh pear and a hint of melon it's a really type of fresh springtime scent i really like this one as well when i ordered this entire um purchase they only had the lotion on the website but i did go ahead and go back and i got the spray and again i got another set of this to just keep in my collection and then this is the one that i can go ahead and start wearing this one smells so amazing it's a really fruity sweet fresh type of smell super clean sweet just so nice really love this one and i actually really like the packaging on this one it looks so sleek and nice and like these colors are the perfect depiction of this scent so i really enjoy this so then the next fragrance that i have this is mango temptation now i'm not too sure if mango temptation was out when i was younger i don't remember smelling this if my aunt did have this one it wasn't one that she wore a lot because i don't remember smelling this one but you guys i love this one this one is amazing so this is mango nectar hibiscus flower paradise found so honestly this is a really nice mango scent like a sweet fruity mango scent but i feel like it kind of transforms into a super perfumey mango scent just because of the hibiscus flower like that floral turns this from being super super straight sweet mango juice to like just a more sophisticated type of sweet mango if that makes sense because i feel like it's not just straight up mango juice there's something else in here that makes it like a little bit more grown up and a little bit more like i said sophisticated smells amazingly good i really like the lotion i feel like these scents are gonna last on my skin a super long time what i found is that victoria's secret fragrances last longer on my skin than bath and body works just saying not knocking bath and body works at all because i'm gonna continue to buy their stuff but i just feel like victoria's secret has like more sophisticated fragrances and they last longer on my skin okay so the last fragrance that i have that was from that line that they brought back this is melon sorbet so this is sugared watermelon strawberry leaves irresistibly cool i love basically any scent that has strawberry or watermelon in it i feel like they're so fruity and just nice for the spring and summertime i don't remember this one either just like mango nectar i don't remember my aunt ever having this one but like i said she might have and it just wasn't one that she wore a lot but melon sorbet is my least favorite out of all of these i don't know melon sorbet does not smell as fruity and sweet as i was hoping that it would just because of the scent name melon sorbet again this smells like kind of perfumey and more sophisticated like they they really took the watermelon and the strawberry and they mixed it in with another type of scent to make it more grown up sophisticated not as sugary sweet like it's gonna give you a damn cavity or something so yeah i feel like they kind of upgraded it to make it more mature it's still really nice it still smells really good i'm still gonna wear it um but this is one that i did not order a backup of to have just because i feel like it's a fragrance that i can have and then forget about if that makes sense it's good but it's just not up there with the other ones to me in my opinion 
But yeah, this is Melon Sorbet. Okay, so now we can get into some other collections that I got while I was online just ordering these. By the way, you guys, stay tuned for another huge Victoria's Secret body care haul. I ordered, like I said, I ordered the backups of these, but then I also just ordered other scents from the other collections that they had that I kind of missed out on. So yeah, be prepared for another haul. So I'm gonna first start with Pure Seduction Decadent. You guys, oh my God, Hulk, I didn't think Pure Seduction could get any better because Pure Seduction is good. I don't love it, but I can't deny that it's a good fragrance. Like it smells good. It smells good on other people, smells good on me. I, I just don't love it because it's a little too heavy and perfumey for me. Like she will give me a headache, but girl, this Pure Seduction Decadent? I need to order like 50 backups of these. This is Berry Chantilly Winter Plum, a deep rich take on Pure Seduction, baby. I need like 30 bottles of this, okay? The, the berry in this, the berry is so heavy in this, but it does smell like a deeper type of fruit in here, which is that plum. It smells so amazing. This would be a perfect date night valentine's i'm about to get me some type of fragrance to wear this is so pretty so sexy so deep and mysterious i love this you guys i'm definitely gonna order oh my god it's like i don't want to order two backups because it's like girl that's excessive with the collection that you have but i love it that much this is so good if you guys haven't tried anything from their decadent line you definitely should try it out or try and seek it out at sas because that is so good so good um also from the decadent line i have love spell decadent and i Girl, I must have been checking out too fast because I forgot to actually add the spray of Love Spell Decadent. Now, listen, when I first smelled this, I did not like it. Girl, I still, out the bottle, this does not smell good at all. So, it is Almond Blossom and Butterscotch Pear, a deep, rich take on Love Spell. And I was just like, this doesn't smell anything like Love Spell. Why would y'all ruin that fragrance like that? Because again, Love Spell is a great fragrance. I can't deny it. It's not one of my faves though, but it's so good. I can't even lie. And with this one, I was just, I smelled it and I was like, uh-uh, I do not like this. It does not smell good, but baby. That is one that you literally have to wait for the dry down to get the full effect. And once again, it's like this soft and sexy and mysterious type of fragrance. Something that you would wear when you like Netflix and chilling, when you cuddling or something like that. Oh my, it smells so good. Just not out of the bottle and not initially when you put it on your skin but i'm telling you the dry down is amazing so if you smelled this one in store and you wrote it off and you said that it wasn't your favorite you didn't like it you didn't want to pick it up i'm telling y'all to try it again put it on your skin walk around a little bit let homegirl dry down and she is so soft and pretty and amazing so i did order the spray for this one so i'm happy to have it i don't need backups of it i will say that i i'm not in love with it like i'm in love with pure seduction i don't need backups but it's so good it is okay and then another love spell fragrance i got was love spell la creme love spell la creme i like this better than i like the original love spell because this one is softer this one is just like the more toned down sister of love spell so this one is peach blossom cashmere woods creme de la love spell yeah 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 this is love spell but like i said this is the toned down sister she's more calm and collect and a little bit more classy okay yeah love love spell the creme really good one love this packaging too i love how it looks kind of frosted like a soft purple kind of color that's really pretty compared to the original love spell bottle this one is just you know it looks softer like they did that on purpose they knew what they were doing with the packaging okay love love 
spell la creme <laughs> and then we're getting down to like i ain't gonna say the boring stuff because i love all these scents so i ain't gonna say they boring but we're getting down to like the basics the basics okay so um this is love addict i told you guys i told y'all that i was gonna get the spray to love addict but i also ended up getting a lotion as well no i did not order this on the victoria's secret site because for whatever reason they don't have love addict on there anymore so i did get this one from mercari um, and I got it in a set from a girl for super cheap and I was super grateful to her. So Love Addict is Wild Orchid Sparkling Mimosas Flirt On. I love Love Addict, okay? Love Addict to me is a really pretty everyday, any season type of fragrance. She's really pretty, okay? She definitely smells like orchid. And then, yeah, she smells like sparkling mimosas like something like a drink or something like that but i don't know it's just like a really perfumey type of scent and i really really enjoy it when i pair it with the lotion um and the fine fragrance mist it smells really good together it lasts and then i have some things from pink so a classic i got warm and cozy i have not had this scent since 2013 y'all i'm not even kidding like i have not had warm and cozy since forever ago like girl anyways it's been a minute but this is a smell that i can't forget like this oh my god this is <laughs> yo when i was in germany this is what i used to wear okay i had the square little um like it had a pump that you push down i had the little square bottle of it it was a bright fuchsia pink if i can find it i'm gonna insert it somewhere on the screen but this is what i used to smell like when i was in germany okay like when i lived there this was my go-to scent and i wore it everywhere i was wearing this out to the club on a date to work i didn't care like i was just wearing warm and cozy Oh, this is a scent that I just can't forget because it's attached to it's attached to memories. I love this. Um, so yeah, I got the spray and the lotion. And I actually ordered another spray and lotion, I believe, from um the Victoria's Secret website as well. So I have a backup of that. And I got this honey oil from their honey line. I really just bought this to moisturize my body before I put on any of my scent. This smells really nice and soft it smells like it smells clean it's it's a really nice just clean type of fragrance um but yeah i think this is going to be really nourishing on my skin if i use it fresh out of the shower okay only two more scents left they're both from pink so the first one is gumdrop the beat i really just wanted to try these because i've seen other people's fragrance collection videos and they talked about these and I just wanted to try them out. And honestly, I'm not in love with Gumdrop the Bee. It does smell very candy, sugary-like, but it's just not one that I'm in love with. This is Pink Gumdrop's Juicy Mandarin. Mm, I don't know, I'm not in love with it, but the packaging is really cute and it does have a cute little straw inside as the atomizer, is that what it's called? Um, yeah, it's, it's cute. It's cute, but it's not one that I love. Another one that I don't love, this is the last thing that I have to show you guys. This is Pink Coconut Body Mist from Pink. And again, I don't know, I was expecting this to smell different. Mmm, yeah, no. No, I'm not the big... Actually, I do have something else to show you guys. I forgot that I bought um the Coconut Passion Mini Set. Yeah, I'm just not... I don't know, I'm not in love with this. It's coconut cream and iced vanilla. Maybe when I wear it on my body and I give it a chance to like dry down and just, you know, mix with my chemistry and everything, it might smell good, but she's not a love for me. I think that's just because I was expecting it to smell like something different. But once again, packaging is super cute. I really like the packaging on this one. I love the color and everything. It's just not what I was expecting. This is the very last thing I have to show you guys. So this is the Coconut Passion Mini Set. Why does this smell like bare vanilla? Like, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more from this. I was expecting more coconut. This is Island Coconut Warm Sands Beach Days Forever. This smells like bare vanilla to me. Like there's not really a whole lot of depth or difference to this fragrance. Mm, it is nice and it it is a little different from bare vanilla but they're so similar to where it's like i feel like i don't need both of these in my collection if i have bare vanilla i don't need this if i have this i don't need bare vanilla yo that love spell that love spell decadent smells so good on my hands right now but anyways yeah i just i wasn't in love with this one 
so yeah that is everything i had to show you guys i was so excited to get the iconic fragrances in that was the whole reason for this haul in the first place i hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed hearing my thoughts on everything if you did go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it if you are new girl sis go ahead and join subscribe come on join the fam please like we like to have fun over here talking about fragrances okay so hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace